global church family good morning good morning to the world and welcome on today there is power in the name of jesus hallelujah you are welcome at the altar of prayer this morning and this is apostle anna edwards in your company and we're getting ready to turn up the praise this morning because we love the lord and we love to pray and we love to worship the word of god says enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise oh hallelujah miracles are in motion is anybody ready to receive their miracle this morning the miracle worker is in this house Lift up your voice this morning. It's Miracle Morning. Miracles are in motion. The blessing is coming to your heart. Time to praise the Lord. Yo, lay put. I said high five three people and tell them if you want it, you can have it. Miracles are coming to your house. Victory is coming to your house. Deliverance is coming to your house. If you want it, you can have it. It's yours. my morning of victory. I woke up this morning with a praise on my lips. Come on church. Lift up your voice. And praise your God. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The victory is yours. God will give you victory. Miracles are in motion. Receive your portion.
Miracles are in motion, beloved. I'm telling you, that's your portion. You woke up this morning. I want you to wake up with joy, wake up with new strength. I want you to understand how God does things. This is the way that God operates. Come on into the courts. Enter the gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. We're praising our God. We're pushing in praise. When the praises go up, the blessings come down. We're worshiping. I came to declare that everything, that has been in your body, every bottle you know, that has been battling up with sickness, tonight healing is being released. Healing. And we're just praising our you God. Listen, your time to shout. If you want it, you can have the joy of the Lord is your strength. Oh, hallelujah. We're going to praise you this thing. If you want it, you can have it. If you need it, you can have it. It's my turn for a miracle. It's your turn for a miracle. Praise your God. Church, I want you to know the portion of scripture that we're standing on this morning. While I was asleep last night, the Lord opened my eyes to show me that there are tables prepared with every good and perfect gift on it. I saw tables with all descriptions of foods. I saw tables with flowers. I saw tables with general merchandise. There are so many tables, beloved, that are prepared. And it's got every good and perfect gift on it. And on the table, there were names. Each and every one of us has a table with our name on it. And I'm telling you, the Lord said, all I want you to do in this season is to praise me. You got to praise God as though he's the good shepherd. And when you make a request, he answers it. That's all you got to do. We don't got to beg. We don't got to negotiate for the blessing. We don't have to bargain for the blessing. Why? Because we are sons and daughters. We are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. I want to give you the portion of scripture. Mark 11 and 24. The Lord says, everything that you have prayed for, it's yours. And it's coming. Mark 11 and 24. Let's get it up. Therefore I say unto you, whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Oh, hallelujah. So what's the, what's the, what's the instruction? Pray, believe, and receive. There is a blessing that's coming your way today. You better rejoice. We've been praying for so long. We've been asking for so long. And now it's time to receive. You better receive it. Pray, we believe, 
I know it's time to receive. That's why I'm, I'm worshiping the Lord so much. Because it's receiving time. Our miracles are in motion. You better receive it. Receive that new car. Receive your boys. Receive your health upgrade. Receive your upgraded condo. Receive your upgraded home. Upgrade, upgrade. Receive your upgraded press. Everything that you're believing God for is yours. That's right, beloved. It's yours. Whatever you're believing the Lord to do, it's yours. Because we have already prayed. We have already asked. And now it's Can time to receive. That's the word. Therefore, I say unto you, whatever things, whatever you have been believing God for, whatever, it may be a new job, it may be an upgrade, it may be a promotion. It may be restoration with a family member, restoration with a son or a daughter. Whatever you're believing the Lord to do, God says, I'm going to do it. Because the miracles are in motion. Miracle working power is moving on your behalf. It may be healing, healing for a loved one, healing in your body. You may desire better health. The Lord says, I am answering. All I want you to do is to receive. All you got to do is receive. We've already prayed. We've already fasted. We've already sown our seeds. We've already believed long enough. And God says, now it's time to receive. Just receive. Just receive. So I just stopped by this morning to let you know that God is doing a big work in our lives. God is doing miracles. And a miracle is a supernatural act of heaven. So it's supernatural what God is doing in this hour and in this season. It's not something that you can figure out. It's not something that you can think about Okay, you can say, okay, he's going to use Johnny to bring this miracle. Or God is going to use um, um, Debbie to bring this miracle to me. Or God is going to use Michelle to bring me this miracle. No. A supernatural miracle is always in the hand of the Lord. God is going to do it just how he feels to do it. That's one thing about miracles. You cannot figure it out. We cannot put God into a box. We cannot say, God, do it the way you did it last time. Do it the way you did it last month. Bless me the way you blessed me last week. No, God does it exactly how he feels to do it. Just like when he healed the blind man. There were several blind men in the Bible that Jesus healed. And guess what? Jesus healed every single one of those blind men in different ways. One blind man, he put mud. He spit on the mud. He mixed a, a, a mixture and he put the mud on the blind person's eyes. And then he said, go wash it out. And the blind man was healed. But then there was another blind man. And you think he would have put mud again. He didn't do that. 
This time Jesus said, Be made whole. And Jesus simply put his hand on the blind person's eyes and removed it, and the blind man was able to see. So there are many different ways that Jesus healed the blind in the Bible. So it tells me that there are many different ways that God can fix your situation. There are many ways that God can work a miracle in your life. You may be thinking that God should have done the miracle all along in a particular way when God wants to do the miracle in a whole nother way. So this morning, God is saying, just release me. The Lord says, release me from limitations. Release me from the box. Release me from the mold. I am breaking the mold this morning. The mold of your expectation is too small. Loose me and release me. Let me work in your life. Loose me and release me in your life. I want to work a miracle. I want to work a miracle that you have never seen before. This miracle is going to be mind-blowing. Allow me to work this miracle says the Lord just say Lord work your miracle any which way you feel you gotta tell the Lord work your miracle in my life any which way suits you best God let the miracles flow let the miracles flow the miracles is coming in unusual ways. Beloved, I want you to understand unusual ways, unusual ways. That's the way that your miracle is coming. It's coming in unusual ways, in unusual vessels, from unusual places. You yourself will never be able to figure God out, but I'm telling you, God knows exactly what he is doing. We got to say, Lord, work your miracles in my life any which way you feel. You got to give God permission to work your that miracle. You cannot figure it out. Suppose God wants to use an entire new place to bless you. God wants to use an entire new place organization to bless you an entire new region an entire new ministry an entire new uh, job god wants to give you so much blessings we've got to loose the chains and loose um, the confines in our minds we got to break every chain in our minds every limitation got to be broken because god god wants to send you the blessings from overseas God wants to send you blessings through Western Union. Some of you, God wants to send you blessings through MoneyGram. But you're limiting God. You're thinking local. The Lord says, expand your thinking and begin to think international. I just release that international anointing upon your life. In a national favor. In a national victory. Believe the Lord to do it. God is doing it. It's a new season. It's a new day. It's a new hour. Let the Lord do it. Let the Lord work his miracle. Let the Lord do it the way he chooses to do it. I'm telling you. And so mighty God this morning, I come before you thanking you for this day. Thanking you mighty God that you have chosen us as your people. I thank you, mighty God, that you have given us green lights to enter into the courts. Whenever we, we feel like coming into the courts and praise you, we can come. God, I just thank you this morning for the army of intercessors that gather here every morning, uniting in prayer. Mighty God, I thank you, God, that we are in one accord and the spirit of unity is amongst us as intercessors and watchmen and seers. I thank you for giving us access to the courts of God this morning that we can come and we can intercede. 
God, I thank you this morning that your mighty working power is already flowing at this altar, reaching out into the altars of the world. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, mighty God, that your spirit is moving and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I thank you, mighty God, that you have already sent the answers to our prayer. Even before I prayed, the answers are here this morning. There are so many answers in the prayer room this morning. So many answers. I see so many packages. Special delivery has come this morning. On my altar this morning, I'm seeing stacks and stacks of mails. So many mails are on my table and the Lord says, Special delivery has come to the intercessors and the watchmen this morning. So all I got to do is release it. And so mighty God, I thank you. I thank you that you're using your people and you're using the church in this last hour. You're raising up sons and daughters who will proclaim the gospel. I thank you, mighty God, that you're raising up the prophets. You're raising up the pastors. You're raising up men and women of faith. You're raising up the evangelists. You're raising up the teachers. I thank you, mighty God, that you're raising up men and women from across the nations of the world to hear the voice of the Lord to fulfill their end time call. And God, everyone's end time call is not in the same category, but everyone's end time call is in a different way. It's in a different expression. We all have been given different expressions, kingdom expressions to release your glory in the earth. Because you are not a limited God. You are not limited within the four walls. Your ministry is not limited in the pulpit. You are not limited in the pastor's office. You are not limited in the deacon's office. You are not limited for the evangelist. You are unlimited in your expressions. You are an unlimited God. There are thousands upon thousands of expressions of God in the earth that God wants us to birth. And so I thank you, mighty God, that you are using the intercessors and the watchmen and the seers of this last day to produce kingdom expressions of all kind. We're producing kingdom expressions in the mountains of art. We are producing kingdom expressions in the mountain, in the mountain of, of business and economy. New businesses are being birthed. New businesses are being established. We are representing the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in many different expressions. New kingdom expressions are coming forth and I say thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God, for the new expressions of baked cookies and the new expressions of flowers and the new expressions of paintings, the new expressions that are coming forth. It's so rich, it's so glorious. The new expressions of the of the wealth and riches gift box. The new expressions, mighty God, of all the love boxes that are coming. Lord, I thank you for new expressions in the earth. Because God, you are love. And so every expression that we manifest is being born of love. Whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And so I thank you for all of the beautiful kingdom ministries and the kingdom expressions that are being born of God it's overcoming the world and it's being birthed by faith all of the ministries all of the prayers all of the outreaches all of the prayer studios all of the houses of prayer it's being birthed by faith by faith we are bringing forth kingdom expressions as a manifestation of the great unlimited power of God and so I thank you I just thank you mighty God that God you are not limited that every man and woman on the earth that you have produced you have given us gifts and you have given us talents and you are depending on us to put these talents to work you do not want us to be a lazy steward you do not want us to bury our talent but every man and woman in the kingdom of God have a talent we have a gift we have a kingdom expression that we can release in the earth and so I thank you I say thank you mighty God that you are doing it you are manifesting yourself through the work of our hands you are manifesting yourself 
through our labors of love. You are manifesting yourself. Even if we say one prayer for someone when the day comes, it's an expression of the King. You are manifesting yourself even through that. You're manifesting yourself through our prayer studios. You are manifesting yourself through every single meal that we cook to bless someone. You are manifesting yourself because God is love. And so, Lord, I just thank you this morning for energy, supernatural energies that you are restoring unto people. For the devil tried to throw many people down. Mighty God, the devil tried to throw people down with tiredness. He tried to throw people down with weariness to cause them to feel so weary that they cannot manifest their kingdom expressions and they cannot fulfill their duties, their end time ministry. But I just bind every spirit of weariness right now. I bind every spirit of tiredness over your life. I bind it and I decree and declare new energy comes to you new energy comes to you sometimes we can pray and we can pray for the same thing over and over when all you need to pray for is energy to actually manifest the answers and so right now i just thank you lord for providing new energy for your people sometimes all they need is energy to shower and change and go downtown to buy the products and they don't even have energy to do that because the enemy knows that when you step into this, this new kingdom expression, you're going to be expressing the love of God. You're going to be expressing the power of God. You're going to be expressing your new area of ministry. And so the enemy will try to hinder us with, with weariness. But right now, I bind every spirit of weariness off your life. I bind every spirit of tiredness. I bind every spirit that will come to try to hinder you from advancing in your end time call and in your end time purpose. I told you the answers are here. The miracles are here. And so right now I place energy, new energy be released on your life. Many of you, the miracle that you need is new energy. I declare new energy, supernatural energy from heaven be released unto you. You will rise up. You will shake off complacency. You will dress yourself and you will find yourself where you need to be. You will find yourself where you need to go to get those things done for the Lord. You're not going to lay down another day. You're not going to watch the four walls in your house another day. You're not going to say, Lord, if I had it, if I felt strong, if I felt energetic, if I felt to go. No, if you keep depending on a feeling, that feeling will never come. I break complacency off your life. I break tiredness off your life. I break weariness off your life. And I declare you will rise. You will rise. Let the anointing be released on your life. Rise up rise up rise up and go forward by faith rise up and step into your new level rise up and do what the lord has assigned you to do rise up in the mighty name of yeshua and so i just declare that over your life you're going to rise up you're going to shake complacency i just release the gift of new energy to you there are miracles in the house I am releasing these packages of new energies to you this morning. Receive your portion of new energy. The Lord says new energy, new energy. It's like an energy boost that's coming into your life, coming to your homes this morning. I just release the miracle of new energies to you in the mighty name of Yeshua. And I bind every, every other spirit that will try to hold you down. And I decree and declare your prayers have already been answered and all God is waiting on now is you. You thought you were waiting on God, but God was really waiting on you. God needs you to arise. Woman of God, man of God, God needs you to arise. God needs you to dust yourself off. God needs you to shake complacency and God needs you to push forward and work the work of God. Whatever that work may be, whatever that small contribution to the world may be, God is expecting you to do it. I don't know what that contribution to the world may be, 
you will know what your gift is you will know what your talents is but the lord says you you've been you know down long enough burying it long enough the lord says arise and put your hands to the plow again you have to you have to offer your contribution to the world because time is running out jesus is coming soon and when you get to heaven that that talent will no longer be useful in heaven those talents that god has given us is only for the earth you can only work those talents in the earth you can only work your gift in the earth jesus is coming soon and jesus is saying many people have been hiding their talent they've buried their talent come on it's time to arise and it's time to go forward it's time to begin to express your kingdom expressions in the earth let the lord use you while it is your day so i just declare new energies over your life i declare new grace over your life grace to arise grace to go forward grace to do what the lord has called you to do thank you Faustina. i received that blessing grace over your life let every person receive that new grace new energy new energy renewed energies we are in the season of miracles miracles are in motion miracles are moving towards you miracles are coming into your house this morning miracles and the lord says you were waiting on god but god was really waiting on you and so i declare miracles over your life you're not going to lay down you're going to rise up you're going to do something new today today is the day that you're going to do something new i speak the spirit of progress over your life you will progress you will advance you will push forward i declare progress 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 today is friday so much work is happening over this weekend we've got things happening we've got the church to clean we've got um balloons to cut down uh, we've got a fish broth to make on sunday who's coming who is coming who is going to make their kingdom expressions be meaningful in the earth come on beloved of god you gotta rise up and you gotta push forward you gotta rise up and understand that your little part makes a difference your play makes a difference no one should have to you know force anyone to do anything you should just always be joyful to do what the lord is requiring of you to do and so i just speak that grace over your life that you would automatically know that god is requiring you to rise up and make your election sure rise up and do what is necessary for the advancement of the kingdom so i just declare progress progress over your life progress let the love for the house of god return progress over your life we will not take things for granted we will not take it for granted we will not take life for granted we will not take our strength our energies for granted when the lord gives you the new energies don't use it on things that does not deserve the energy use it for working the things of the lord use it for working the plans of god use your new energies for the lord use it in the house of god use it to glorify god use it to do something for the lord don't use your new energies in the opposite way now that the lord is restoring energies sometimes as women we do everything else except what god wants us to do with our new energies and then when it's time to do the work of the lord we lay down and we say we're tired and then nothing was done for the lord so you have to manage your energies now manage your new energies and make sure you do something for the lord so i just declare over your life progress i release progress you're going to progress this weekend is going to be a glorious weekend for many of you this weekend uh, God is just going to shine on your life I've got so much wonderful programs planned this weekend and I can't wait um, to express manifest my kingdom expressions in the earth um, to the glory of God and you are a part of it you are a part of it you can do whatever the Lord um, allows you to do and so I just declare that grace over your life. I declare new energies over your life. I declare that the peace of God is your portion. I declare fresh oil flows from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I decree and declare that the love for the house of God, the love for the temple of God returns to your spirit. I just decree and declare that anointing over your life. 
I decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus, you will rise to a new level of ministry in this season. I decree and declare you will no longer sit by waiting on the Lord, but you will rise up and do what the Lord has asked you to do in the mighty name of Yeshua. And I want you to understand even now that little portion that you do in the house of the Lord, that's your expression. Everybody's expression is not on a platform. It's not holding a microphone. Every single one of us has a different kingdom expression in the earth. Right? And so you got to you got to manifest those kingdom expressions by faith and you know, with the joy of the Lord in your heart. And so I just declare over your life confidence. You will have a new confidence to work the works of God. You will have a new confidence to do the ministry you will have a new confidence to rise up and you know just come out and stretch your legs and you know do what the lord has assigned you to do so i just declare that over your life this morning in the mighty name of yeshua i decree it i declare it and i call it done in jesus name amen and amen all right so i'm going to play this song this morning let's begin to share the prayer room did you share the prayer room Share the prayer room again. Send the prayer room to someone's group. Send the prayer room to someone's messenger. Send the prayer room to your, your walls. I've got a morning devotion coming in a short while. Right after this song. Let's send out the prayer room this morning. You already got the scripture. Mark 11 and 24. Hallelujah. Answered prayers.
men and women of God are not weak. Men and women of God are warriors. We are not built to be soft saints. How long are we going to be marshmallow, gummy bear, spineless children of God? There is a very real devil who is described as the adversary who walks around like a warring lion seeking whom he may devour. I have news for you tonight. Just as the devil desired Peter so that he may sift him as wheat, he desires you and he will do everything in his power, everything in his power to sift everything useful in you and to stop all progress in your life. He wants to stop your walk with God. He doesn't want you to prosper spiritually, physically, mentally, financially or emotionally. Year after year, the same things keep happening to you. Take one step forward and get locked three steps back. And you feel like time is running out. And you feel as if you have missed your season. And your window of opportunity is gradually closing faster and faster as you age. How long until you realize you are not fighting natural things? Nothing just happens. The obstacles you are facing are not by accident. Nothing just happens. Nothing ever seems to work out for you, but for other people it does. Nothing just happens. Those bad breaks, those unfortunate events in your life were not random or because of bad luck. They were set against you. They were calculated moves by the enemy. The spirit world governs the physical world. What this means is that what you see happening in the physical world is a result of what's already happened in the spiritual world. Before anything takes place physically, it's already happened spiritually. Some things you and your family have been fighting against have been sent against you. And if you look carefully, some of the things you were fighting against didn't begin with you. Look back at your family tree and you'll see that the enemy has been attacking your family tree for years. And are you really going to sit there and let the enemy take another year from you? And let him sit on his demonic throne, laughing at you, telling you that your mother wasn't nothing, your father wasn't nothing, and I have enjoyed ensuring that you will be nothing. You will never be good enough. You will never be adequate. You will never be free. You are just another cupcake Christian, which I have enjoyed devouring. The devil is a liar. Take a stand in the name of Jesus. In 2020, you are going to be bold like a lion. Proverbs 28 verse 1. The righteous are bold as a lion. The righteous are bold as a lion. The dictionary definition of boldness is not hesitating or fearful in the face of actual or possible danger. Synonyms of this word include brave, fearless, courage. It's time that we as children of God believe in the correct doctrine. We are not children of a weak, timid God. Yes, be humble, but humility is not weakness. Yes, be meek, but meekness is not weakness. Look at Jesus in the God of Gethsemane. According to John 18 verse 3, there was a band of men that came to arrest him in the garden. The Greek word for a band of men is spiro. This word describes a military cohort of a number of soldiers between 300 and 600 soldiers. Not just men, but soldiers. And not just any regular soldiers, but these were extremely trained soldiers that were equipped with the finest weaponry of that day. Essentially, they were the special forces of the Roman army. 600 Roman soldiers came for Jesus that night. Jesus asked them, whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. As soon as he said unto them, I am he, they went back and fell on the ground. Jesus was bold like a lion. And Jesus is the gold standard of Christianity. And if you claim to be a child of God, you have to be bold like a lion. And you know what they say about lions. Lions don't lose sleep over the opinions of sheep. For you to become everything God has intended for you to become, to reach the heights God has planned for you, it demands boldness. It demands boldness to be a child of God. It demands boldness to walk by faith and not by sight. To go where you've never walked before. It demands boldness to reach for what you've never reached for before. It demands boldness.
fresh hands. It demands boldness to fight when you're tired. It demands boldness to be above average. It demands boldness to be more than a conqueror. Boldness, boldness, boldness. I don't think you understand me. To those bold enough to know, it says in the you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. It demands boldness. 600 of the best soldiers in the world at that time came to Jesus. And Jesus stood up to them with no fear and said, I am he. Do you have the boldness to stand in front of whatever enemy you are facing and whatever enemy you may face this year? Whether the enemy is the devil himself, whether it's sin, whether it's debt, whether it's financial debt, whether it's illness, whatever you are facing, whatever you will face, stand up to it. Stand up against it. There comes a time when you have to have some aggression, some tenacity, and some might about you. And you have to stand up and fight back, no matter what is happening to you, no matter how hard the fight is. As long as you keep fighting, you will win. The devil only wins if you let him. Life will only win if you let it. Fight on. Fight on. Fight on. Don't tell me you can't fight anymore. Don't tell me you can't fight anymore. Don't tell me I'm tired and alone. After all you have been through, you've got to take a stand. You've got to take a stand. Stand in the middle of heartache. Stand in the middle of calamity. Stand in the middle of the storm. Stand in the middle of chaos. Stand in the middle of failure. Stand firm in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever it is, it will not defeat you. If it is an illness, fight back against it. It will not win. It will not win. The devil and his army cannot stop what God has ordained for you in 2020. You will experience the blessings of the Lord this year. The crown of favor is upon your head. God will open doors for you. But your duty, your responsibility is to be bold like a lion. Look at the ones who have gone before you. Moses, described in the Bible as the meekest man ever. Yet Moses had the boldness to go face to face with the most powerful man on earth at that time. And told him, let my people go. Boldness. The great soldier Joshua, who took the sword and led the children of Israel to conquer kingdom after kingdom after kingdom after kingdom. Boldness. King David, who slayed a lion, a bear, and a giant as a small boy. Boldness. You can't be bold if you see yourself as a victim. You can't be bold if you see yourself as a loser. You can't be room who's 21 years of age or older has a burden and a heartache I could I know these men on the platform and I, I promise you every man I know on this platform this man right over here all the way down the line has a reason to have a broken heart tonight not only do the adults in this room have broken hearts and burdens but so do the young people the teenagers I went to a high school basketball game. I go to one a year of our high school. A couple of years ago, and I sat behind our, the 12 men on our high school basketball team. And as they were steady sitting there waiting for the game to start and the coach was giving final instructions, I went down the line. The first boy, his mother, 
dying with cancer. The second boy, his father, given birth, or had fathered a child outside of wedlock. The next boy, his mother and dad, had just gotten a divorce. I went right down the line. Every single one of those basketball players had a broken heart that I knew about. Now, the honest truth is, if the truth were told tonight, and I'll not ask you to let me know, but the truth were told, I promise you that 95% of all the adults in this room tonight have a reason that you could weep. We laugh a lot, and that's good. We ought to. But I promise you that 95% of the people in this room tonight have a reason they could weep. I have burdens. You have burdens. Mine are perhaps no greater than yours, and yours perhaps no greater than mine. But all of us have burdens. Now God tells us what to do when these burdens come. He said when the the battles come and the problems come and the heartaches come he said here's what I want you to do he said the first thing I want you to do I want you to fight I want you to fight he said wrestle it means fight until you bribe, vibrate I want you to fight now you said the day is going to come when you can't fight he said then I want you to withstand brother you can take it just withstand but he said the day is going to come when you won't have the strength to withstand, he said, having done all, having wrestled, having withstood, having done all, he said, I want you to stand. But I said, dear God, what does the word stand mean here? May I tell you exactly what it means? It means don't change. Don't change. See, God knew that when the burdens come, we'd be tempted to change. And God knew that. And God knew that with the burdens, the problems, and the heartaches, and the trials, God knew that with that, there'd be a temptation to try something else. And God said, when the battles come, and they will, when the burdens come, and they will, when the heart is broken, and it will, He said, I want you to fight. I want you to fight. 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 Fight, He said. He said, when you can't fight anymore, He said, I want you to have the guts and gumption to withstand. But he said, when you can't withstand anymore, he said, I want you, having done all, to stand.
say thank you this morning for uniting in prayer with us. Thank you for locking shields. I declare the blessing of the Lord over your life. I declare favor over your life. And I declare miracles are manifesting over your life. Expect your miracle this day, today, not tomorrow, today. Your miracles will start to manifest itself from this day forward. This is Apostle Anna Edwards saying shalom. Remember, I'm on this evening again for World Harvest Online at 6 p.m. See you in a little while. Shalom.